Hey, this is Martin Clark, also known as Black Down from Key Sound Recordings. Thanks for Mala for having me on to reflect on 15 years since Dubstep Wars. Pick up Marianne Hobbs. When I look back and reflect on Dubstep Wars, the first thing I think about is just simply the quality of the music. Every set by every DJ is almost all written by the producers and DJs themselves. And this is a really amazing expression of creativity and pretty much the a perfect expression of the tensions creative tensions in scenes when people come together and have similar but different creative ideas and those can happily coexist you look at loafer playing mud perhaps my favorite loafer tune this might have been the first time i ever heard it and then distance is more metal sound koki and banger getting harder in places on the hatcher set vex is almost industrial influences the dub in space apes voice scream horsepower's garage influences mallard's percussion and emotion the d1 track at the start who had this kind of almost trancey feel all these creative people shared a space a place their music was close enough that it could sit together and fit into one groove but different enough to create different intensities feelings that it wasn't just one thing it wasn't one beat pattern it wasn't one mood it had some things that were common but some things that were really different that told stories and generate different feelings and that's really really hard to do it's easy for everyone to make basically to make the same track and play it all out and it's easy to make chaos and so stuff that doesn't sound like it makes sense but it's really hard to have that creative tension between music that makes sense together but is different enough I also look back like many people on dubstep wars as a tipping point uh, I was writing about dubstep from before it had a name and so that was a, so probably around 2000 when I first met LB and Jay Flex and Z Bias and for three or four years maybe five it just didn't it was so creative but nobody was interested and I remember a, very memorably a conversation with Code 9 saying when is this stuff going to find its place and he kind of said it'll find its place it'll find its audience and I didn't know why he had so much certainty but of course he ended up being right and in many ways that creative tension that just the quality of ideas and the music impacting touching more and more people really built to a head with the dmz raves and forward and then of course just upset wars that took this bubbling creative cauldron beyond london and it was already growing but it just sent it worldwide and there are many different ways now so many different ways to get heard or seen but it was kind of special it was a radio show given this music is all built upon in part the foundations of pirate radio my final reflection of course on dubstep wars is tinged with regret i don't have many regrets but i turned down two offers to be there to watch it to see history unfold so every time I see that picture or the new footage, video footage, I think I should have been in it. And I have a good reason. Dusk and I were making music, and that was music night, and nothing got in the way of music night and making dubs. Not even this. And so a bunch of the folks said, you got to be there. And I was like, oh, we're making beats. And the stupid thing is the track we made, me and Dusk, it never came out. <laughs> But I like the purity and the commitment to making music because that's similar to the mentality that these inspirational folk like Loafer and Code 9 and Scream had and Maller, of course, to make music. So it was in that spirit. And I've got over it. But it does make me laugh. And I hope if folk look at this now and, and see it, that they're one of the things to take from it as a kind of message is not this is how your track should sound but look what can happen if different people come together from all different backgrounds 
and make really powerful music with a sense of purpose and collaborate together. Look what can happen 15 years later, people might be talking about it.